Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the pleasure and the honor to show you the pure Cyanogen Mode 13 based on Android of course 6.0.1 as I will show you right now Marshmallow 6.0.1 Android version uh, Cyanogen Mode and Dragon Fruit unofficial release for the Samsung Galaxy S4 i9505 of course Cyanogen Mode kernel made by the actually kind of implemented by developer of this ROM um, which also who also requested me to make uh, this video so what I found it really interesting at the beginning of uh, the video and I really need to got this uh, really straight to you guys is that finally somebody managed to solve the debug that uh, uh, when you couldn't switch back and forth between network types right now you can change this so you can switch back and forth between 2G, 3G or LTE which is recommended so I'll set it to LTE even though it uh, it's even more battery life okay so right now it's not it's no more having that uh, <coughs> nasty bug now I really have to tell you I am right now recording in a really strange position because I forgot my little tripod to one of my friends and I have to use this uh, big tripod right now but I don't uh, think it will be such a big deal for you guys I hope you'll understand me and you'll get me clear so as I do always uh, do at the beginning of the of any of my tutorials I would like to should to tell you how um, my uh, how am I doing this so first of all I'll get into the customization part and I'll rate it from 1 to 10 then I'll get into the performance part then the battery life then smoothness and so on so these are the categories that I'm gonna be going through uh, in this review <clears throat> okay so let's uh, mention th uh, a little thing about the battery uh, so as for you guys to make an idea on how fast the ba this battery drains out on this particular ROM uh, I will tell you at the beginning of the video as you may see it is 70% and uh, actually 71% it was and uh, we'll check out at the end of the video how much of my battery uh, is left so yeah let's get into the customization part okay customization passes it is a cyanogen mode ROM it has uh, the beautiful themes app which will allow you to add as many themes as you want and customize the entire user interface uh, I downloaded the second pitch black theme you can get it right here by clicking play store and I reckon it's the first one that will yep that will pop up pop out so pitch black dark red theme for CM13 I like the way it looks because it gives uh, it the, it has black accents which will improve even improve even more improve your battery life because as you if you don't know already black pixels will consume less battery on AMOLED screens so it will improve battery of course yeah so the customization part has its uh, big plus right now themes so let's get into the built-in customization part like um, the status bar customization okay you can set up your clock style to center as I did you can show off or show off uh, you, can, your, you can show or hide the AM PM style you can change up switch back and forth between battery status styles so you can go into icon landscape you can go into cycle mode like, as you may see text like this but I'd like to keep it in icon portrait mode battery percentage let's uh, put it next to the icon it would be really nice if you if they set it right I mean the left side of the icon oh it doesn't really matter just to show you guys how fast it drains out okay sorry brightness control show notification count and quick pull down just to quickly 
you know, scroll down notification bar like this from the right side. Couldn't find any any other customization parts. Um, you can customize these tiles, not from settings, but from here. You can click edit tiles, and then you'll have this option: press and hold tiles to rearrange. So you can you can set up this here, for example. You can turn on flashlight. You can add as many tiles as you want from the menu here, and you have even uh, more. The default, uh, you know, custom tiles you get on any Sanagan mode ROM. For example, I, I got the the compass tile, which is a really great uh, uh, great thing. Now you have here what you can have, what you can show on in a header section here. The weather you can customize the weather. I will show you in the next few minutes. You can enlarge first row. So if you don't want it to be, you know, two icons a row, you can have it uh, enlarged, like uh, three icons per row. You can tri try state location. Okay, so right now if you get into, uh, sorry, I'll have to click done. When you get into location, you will be able to switch between power saving GPS only in high accuracy mode, which is really cool. Okay, so edit tiles again. Let's get back here. Reset to default layout. So this is how how many things you can do with um, with this option. Right now, let me introduce you how you could uh, easily set up the uh, if I'm mistaken the weather in the header section. You'll need to find out an application called Clock somewhere here. Um, I promised you that I will do that and I don't even know how, which is really bad. If you watch my previous video, you, you'd know what I'm talking about. It's an application called Clock Eye, I reckon, that will allow you to set up your alarms, your uh, weather location, you know what I'm talking about. Even though I can activate the location and let's see if it updates like that. Okay, come on. So I will put it, set it to battery saving. And let's say if it automatically updates at the end of the video, it should setting, it should be showing the weather right here, right there. Or what if I go and show weather? No. Either way, customization part, let me rank it from 1 to 10, I would give it a strong 9 out of 10, because it's what you need, it's not the most customiz customizable ROM you'll ever find right now, Restriction is even more customizable, but it's a beginning and uh, taking in mind that it's also been fixed, the problem with the changing between network types has been fixed. Uh, it deserves a 9 out of 10 because it's a beautiful ROM right now even though it's a, it's a, even though it's unofficial ROM okay so we've done with the, the with the customizability part let's get it into performance uh, as you may already observed it's running marshmallow and marshmallow is fast by default I think I should get rid of this uh, of this section when I'm talking about marshmallow because there's not there's not uh, possible to have lag on marshmallow at least when you firstly install this uh, this uh, ROM. So if we call for example 415, it's blazing fast, no problems at all. Even though even after you close up the call. Um, Everything is working as smoothly as possible. As you may see Google Play Store. You'll notice some lag from time to time. That's because cache hasn't been built uh, from the initial startup, and you'll need to take to let it for let's say two to three days in order to uh, build up some cache in the background. And then everything will be working fine. So performance, I will rate it again nine out of ten because it's not. Um, 10 out of 10 is that ROM which is lame as fuck 
and runs perfectly fine without any kind of lag. So that's why what why I will give this ROM 9 out of 10 in terms of performance. Smoothness again, as you may see, you can switch easily back and forth between the apps with no problem. So yeah, 9 mode settings. Everything as you may see animations are going pretty much fast, fast enough. Um, this is how opening a message from notification looks like. Let me show you the lock screen actually. Let's open the notification from the lock screen. So this is how the lock screen looks like. Really beautiful done. Okay, so all you need to do is to click this and then you'll get into the messaging application which was also themed with the original theme, Peach Black theme. Okay. Um, so performance talked about smoothness customizability let's get into the battery 69% so it's been it was 71 at the beginning of the video and now it's 69 I reckon yep it was it wasn't 81 I reckon no, it wasn't so it's 69 and this is a pretty decent score so only 2% of the battery was consumed, taking in mind that it's full brightness, brightness is set to full. I would reckon this battery life has a 10 out of 10 guys. It's been almost, I think 12, 12 minutes since I started this video and only 2% of the battery was, was consumed right now, 3% of battery. So I reckon it gets a 10 out of 10 in terms of battery life. So. My my opinion about this ROM is that it is um, great from the beginning. Uh, it has fixed some bugs. I don't know if Bluetooth still works. Uh, st still is has is still a bug present on Cyanogen mode 13. I heard that it's present on all of them, and I hope it will be fixed. I haven't tried it because I don't have a device to pair with it. Uh, in order to test out, to test out. So, yep, that was pretty much it. I, I will recommend this ROM because for me it is great. I um, haven't played with it for a long time, but from what I saw during this review and uh, before, uh, I would recommend it in order to test it out and report. Of course, give me your feedback right down in the comments uh, about uh, what screen on time you, you scored. SOT, SOT, uh, speaking about the battery life, uh, how fast it is and how, of course, you can customize it even more by installing Exposed uh, along with Exposed Installer. Uh, I have a video on how to install Exposed on the Galaxy S4 running CM13. Make sure you watch that video. It's on my channel. So that was pretty much it, guys. Camera, let's test out the camera just to make sure everything is working perfectly so let's take a picture of this beautiful Lamborghini and yep as you may see no crop factor no anything no crop bug so everything is working perfectly I don't know if okay Google okay Google is even walking okay okay Google search for wicked Android HD Yep, this is my channel guys, so OK Google is working perfectly. OK, so thank you for watching guys, Wicked Android is out, stay tuned, bye bye.